Indifference is not really indifference. Whatever has been voted the most irritating word, whatever, you know this. <laughs> it is not, when we say indifference, what it means is suppression. The person is already triggered. They are affected. So they are just suppressing it. Do you comprehend? The aggression has already happened inside of them. And that, that is why they have to be indifferent. Do you understand? That indifference of whatever is not transcendence, clear, it is suppression, fear, it is passive aggression, got it? So what we are speaking of is the state of transcendence, 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 got it? Transcendence, where you transcend the positionality, you arrive to a state of consciousness where you can see all positionalities, yes? You can see. You are not indifferent. Indifferent is a place of weakness. A lot of time in this people, in uh, the new age yogi, you know, this pop culture yogi, they say, oh, I don't read the news. Yes? I don't read the news, I don't watch the news. It's wonderful, you should, it's good, you don't watch the news, you don't read the news, it's wonderful. Why? You do better things. But they are not watching the news, not reading the news because they have transcended it. They are not watching or reading the news because they have reached a state of fragility, weakness in them. That they cannot be attentive to the suffering of the world and still maintain their joy. Do you comprehend? So that indifference is a state of escapism. Clear? So if it's something occurring in Syria, something occurring in Lebanon, something occurring in Pakistan, since it's far away, it's okay. But if it is in front of me, then I'm affected deeply. Then I act out. Do you understand? But if it is far away, then I fight. Do, 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 let's, what do you do? Let's go Whole Foods. And... <laughs> no awareness. So that is not what we are speaking of. That is apathy. It's fear-based. Clear? We are speaking of a state of transcendence. As you grow in yourself, as you mature in yourself, you are not escapist anymore. You are able to give everything. Samdarshita, you are able to give more and more attention, attentiveness to the isness of isness, without reacting. Clear? Without reacting, you are able to respond. There is a big difference between reaction and response. You must know that within yourself, what is reaction, what is response. Got it? When we are speaking of transcendence or letting go of our positionalities, what we are speaking of is not apathy. We are speaking of growing up. No matter how beautiful your ideas are, there is a place where they are not relevant. Like for example, AA, it has helped many people. But there is a point where it ceases to be relevant. Now if your whole life you, your identity is, I'm 20 years sober, I'm 30 years sober, I'm 40. You have still based your primary identity on an addiction that occurred for you. Yes or no? So that very thing which was relevant within a context ceases to be relevant and that's why it then creates so much dysfunction after a while. We must transcend it even though it's beautiful. Clear? As you evolve, you start to realize what is relevant in what context. Out of that context, it's not relevant. Now somebody is experiencing shortage of food. They are not having enough food. And then you go, you must watch your thought. You must pay attention to your thought. That person needs food. First give them food. Yes? That is called true knowledge, true knowledge. You start to see everything clearly as you grow. So that's not apathy, it is transcendent. Is that clear for you now? Yes, transcendence. That you are able to give it attention without getting identified, projecting your identity on it. Yeah, without projecting your identity. That is very important.